hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is ruth and in today's video we have another mukbang going on and today we are eating pepper soup and rice and i have someone with me so let me he should introduce himself first before we continue so introduce yourself who are you uh, thank you very much <laughs> Hello guys, mm -hmm. uh, my name is Michael. <laughs> and that's so, all. what do you want to know again? What do you do here? Me? Mm -hmm. yeah. Businessman. I'm a businessman okay. here. <laughs> that's all, basically. <laughs> yeah, so thank you for filming this video with me. You are welcome, all because of this food. That's why I'm here, sure. <laughs> <laughs> So, Michael has been here for like six to how many years? No, 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 no. About approximately 10 years now. <laughs> Wow, I didn't know that. That's like 10 years. I was even thinking like maybe so you came here before me. Ten whooping years, of course, you met me here. Now. I was thinking maybe uh, one year. You came, I saw you now. You <laughs> came into my hand now. <laughs> yes, now. And I was nurturing you now. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Don't so <laughs> without wasting time, let's talk about, let's just discuss. I'll ask him some questions also. He's gonna ask me some questions and we eat. Just listen and be blessed, I think. <laughs> yeah, so super rice. let's start. What do you think? <laughs> so, you've been here for 10 years? Yes, approximately uh, 10 years. Okay. By September 1st, I will be 10 years here. Hmm. Wow. So, in a long way. Can you speak the language and which one, Russia or Azerbaijan language? That's a good question. <laughs> I speak Russian, hmm? I speak Azerbaijan, I speak Turkish. Yes. For you? Yeah, baby. Of course. <laughs> what do wow. you think? Uh, so, it's good to learn. So, let me ask you, how did you learn the language? Mm. One minute, please. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yes, how I learned the language. Mm -hmm. Initially, when I got to this country, I put my mindset on learning Russian language. You know why? why? Because I discovered in this country people do value Russian language then. Hmm. So I decided to learn Russian language because I know it would be much more easier for me to to like grasp uh, Azerbaijan no. language. Yes. Why? You think like if you learn the Russian be able to it would be easy for you to learn Azerbaijan language. Do you know why? Because here it's Azari language speaking country. Mm -hmm. So it will be much more easier for me to access the language, language. Ah, okay. so with russian language mm -hmm. i just need to pay for it to learn it ah, okay. so for that reason i just opted for russian mm -hmm. language mm -hmm. then azerbaijan language no okay, one taught me. yes no one taught me azerbaijan for real wow brain yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good wow and so, as for turkish language mm -hmm. how did you learn that one it's approximately similar to azerbaijan language i had a lot of turkish language uh, turkish friends um, so through that I just picked one or two, two words. Of words. Then I discover with Azerbaijan and Turkish it's almost it's same. Similar. Mm. Mm. Wow. So That's which one do you know very well out of these three? To be candid, I could speak three of them fluently. <laughs> fluently. Oh, wow. Yeah. So now you tell me you can you can live in Turkey and without like you won't have any without problem. any stress I can speak to them, communicate. Hmm. So, what motivated you to learn the language? I will give you a secret about this. Okay, yeah, tell us you're here because I've, I've been here for six years, I don't know anything. The more language you learn, mm -hmm. the easiest it becomes for you to explore options wherever you are. Mm. Let's take for instance, now that I know Azerbaijan language, mm. it's very, very much more easier for me to penetrate into some certain things because the people here they find it more attractive when they see foreigners speaking their language <clears throat> so yeah. for that they give me more attention, attention. yes yeah. because when they say wow you speak azerbaijan language i said of course i speak azerbaijan language so they give all the full concentration mm. on me wow. so and as for russia language of course now i though i was in saint petersburg once i was in moscow as well once so i found it so easy to just communicate with people with them yes mm. it was easy for me thank you very much wow. mm. but in your university <coughs> did you learn to yes actually when i entered i went directly to russian sector oh, okay. 
So I studied Russian language for two years, hmm? completely two years. But ah, Russian language no be being so. Of course, it's hard. Very very difficult. Very very the uh, the grammatical aspect is very very difficult. Hmm. Very very so. But yeah. when I put my mind, I learn. Can you tell me one word, like sentence in Russia? What kind of sentence? For example, what are you doing? Study the language. So you, you, this language is like... It's free. I find it very easy to speak. But you know, for some people who find it difficult to learn the language. Because you don't put your mind. That's the key. You think so? Or we're not just born to learn the language? No, 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 no. I do believe we have <laughs> same brain. So when you put your mind in something, mm. you find it easy to learn. But if you don't put your mind, mm. come on, it will be difficult. Right. I know a lot of people who actually stay here for 25 years, they couldn't even speak mm -hmm. another language. Like me now, six years, I can't even one word self. <laughs> That's very bad. Why? I don't know for real. You I don't think have I think interest. I reason. You don't have interest in the language or what? Really, I don't know, but it just didn't come to me. <laughs> wow. This fish, thumbs up. <laughs> so let's go to the next question. What is the first word you learned here? <laughs> Come on! Come the, on! The first word. <laughs> <laughs> the first word I learned in this country, you know, I actually learned that from a kid. Ah. Not known, I can't say a kid, a teenager. Okay. Yes. It was like swear. Swear, swear, swear. Sometimes I hear Gish the Lack. <laughs> I don't want you to know From that. This I'm sorry, yes. So I don't know actually. I don't know the meaning. I was like, what is Gish the Lack? What is Gish the Lack? Then I discovered when I was saying it in the streets, people are saying, oh, all mass, all mass. All mass mean, no, 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 don't say it. Yeah. So I was like, okay, tell me the meaning, then mm -hmm. I'll stop saying mm -hmm. it. I bet you don't want to know the meaning. I don't want to say the meaning mm -hmm. here. No, 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 no. <laughs> so let's cut it like that. So that was the first word. Yes. Oh my god, that's bad. <laughs> it's not bad. In every language, it's psychology. In every language, you start to learn the bad words. Then it wow. gets you more attractive. So another question: When you were learning the language, when you started learning the language, yes. And now, if you were meant to go back, what would you change? During the process of you learning the language Of me learning the language? Yeah, what would you change like the pro during the process? Wow, that's a very, Maybe very good Maybe something you did wrong No, that's a very good question though You know, they said if you want to learn a language faster mm -hmm. and more perfectly mm -hmm. You need to look for an opposite sex um... Opposite gender <laughs> so me, I didn't. I was doing like strong get boy. Mm. I was doing like innocent mm. human being. So I decided to just buy books, buy dictionaries, oh, okay. and I was learning. So it took me some time mm. to actually grasp and started speaking. Mm. But I discovered that if I had find one beautiful Azari girl, wow, the girls are very very beautiful though. <laughs> so if I had, had like Azari girlfriend, it would have been much more easier and yeah, faster, very faster, very fast, yeah. for me to learn. So mm. that's what I could change if I had the chance to go back and amend something. Wow. So the next question is, did you gain more opportunities as a learn the language? Like you before you couldn't speak the language, but now that you can speak the language, do you see any big difference? I understand you're eating bone. <laughs> bone and fish. Mm. I think the bone is very, very soft now. Of course, a huge difference. As I said, mm. if you learn the language very well, yeah. it becomes much more easier for you. Yeah. To penetrate into the system. System. Because a lot of advantage in learning this language. Because number one of it is that you attract the indigen of this country and they want to work with you yes mm. so you know when they discover that i speak this language there are a lot of options a lot of offers that came my way wow yes offers like wow please would you like to work with me mm. you speak english fluently 
now you can speak our language that's like can you be a translator for us mm. or if i want to travel out can you just travel with me then you interpret for me wow. if i don't know this so i said well why not so a good plus for me well that's good of course that's good now everything it seems to be fine more than and everything yeah, those yeah. years they, nobody was trying to learn english yes, <laughs> they don't even give a damn about the language so and me i found it difficult to just express myself i want this i want this yeah so all this just made me nervous and i said oh no i need to learn this language to speak wow so it was kind of difficult at least for my first if i'm not mistaken for my first three to four months i found it difficult to interact <laughs> it was hell wow so next question what would you like to, what would you say to someone that is trying to learn the language and they are not feeling i would like to say they're not feeling motivated need to, to learn yeah yeah like i always tell people <laughs> that i get to meet first time i always tell them the only secret to live here mm -hmm. can't understand how that fruit the only <laughs> the only secret mm -hmm. to live here mm -hmm. comfortably and easy mm -hmm. is to learn the language if you don't learn the language you yeah. find most things difficult to do because mm -hmm. it's difficult for you know it this is logical for example you know i have this and i want people to just accept it the way it is for me so when I see people that accept this, I tend to give them more attention. Mm. So that's just it. So when Azari people see you speaking their language, mm -hmm. they could go extra mile. For you. Yes, that's just it. So I always advise them. First thing you need to do is learn the language. Mm. So when you learn the language, then everything, it's like you are paving a way for yourself and everything becomes open. I think the reason why I don't know the language is because my school we have like English sector. So anyway, I forced, have English sectors also in my. But own. we're not forced, and even in the classroom in the university, um, this thing, mm -hmm. or everyone inside the classroom we're from other countries. That we don't have as a as a Bajani student with us, so it's kind of like the teacher does not. She doesn't have choice. He or she, the teacher, doesn't have choice and to be speaking English. You know. Okay, let me ask you this question: Do you ever regret now not? Learning as a bad language or not knowing how to speak. Yeah, of course, of course, of Why? course. Because now I have like clients that are from here and I can't even communicate with them. I have to use the Google Translator to. No, communicate. you have the Google Translate here right beside you. You just have to pay me, then I come and make a pay for you. I earn my yeah. cash. <laughs> That's it. So I have a lot of because I have Instagram page and they try when I advertise they try to ask. Um, for the price and I have to use Google Translator and I think the Google Translator is not translating well yes. so because I when it comes it, to grammatical error it's, you can't get the real translation so you kind of like give it a, like, and I, I don't, I'm not getting feedback from the client so it's kind of making me to feel like oh, I, I, what was I doing? why did I learn this language? <laughs> oh my God. so I think the language is really really helpful very very but it's really difficult for real no come on you don't say that mm. but in my own case you know i practically learned all these three languages same time wow. because while i was at the foundation like the language sector mm. time i was speaking Azerbaijan at the same time so it was like i'm learning the language at the same time i found it difficult though because sometimes when i want to speak Azerbaijan, i discover i speak in russian language yeah, yeah you and should do that. yes and mm -hmm. it's like make me crazy but Even you want to speak your dialect yes. that thing will come off <laughs> yes but anyway mm. here i am today wow so you say that uh after learning all these three languages you feel very very different absolutely different like i am feeling right now eating this food <laughs> absolutely so, different that's the end of my question Do you have any question of, for me and a lot of people tend to be jealous of me though mm. like my mates uh, yeah, I know you feel you feel your oh, shoulders are like this because you can speak the language. I'm sure. What do you expect from me? Of course, sometimes you I have just, no confidence. I think I just insult them in Azerbaijan language, and they don't understand. I just say I'm greeting you. <laughs> <laughs> and there's another thing, you know, 
when I want to get the attention of Azari mm -hmm. that doesn't know I speak the language, I just let them to speak all the languages. Even some of them insult me. Unknowingly to them. Uh, unknowingly to them that I understand the language. Mm -hmm. There was a time I was let me remember there was a time i was going i think it was inside bus i was going to the university then mm -hmm. and you know they were like insulting me like no it was like polite insult okay <laughs> like oh look at him look at the way he's, he has a big muscle what kind of person is this and mm -hmm. i allowed them to just complete that sentence and i just say Oh, Gardash, Natasha, never New York. Like, I was greeting, greeting them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, so, this And he was very shocked. Like, wow, Azerbaijan believe the listen. Elvete believe Like, I understand and I can speak Azerbaijan. They say, oh, Gardash, Gardash, Gardash. Like, oh, my brother, my brother. You know, that day he paid for my bus fare. And he took, after the, uh, the lunch time, he took me to the lunch, paid for it. And after that, he invited me to a restaurant, paid all my bills. Oh my God! <laughs> it is good so to for you now, you living here, I can speak the language. You know, you, you I eat a lot of free food. What I want to say, is, <laughs> you that speak the language, yes. when you're going outside now, you don't know how your day will turn. Mm -mm. In the sense that you don't even know who you will meet, how things will go because mm -hmm. you speak no. the language. Yes, it's unexpected. And you speak the language, and your ears are open. It's like yes, but sometimes I. They tend to just provoke me. Uh -huh, that part. Yeah, yeah, they provoke me, but I just overlook it. Like I don't care. Unlike me, I can't speak. I, I what you know, you're insulting my life. I can't even know. I don't even know anything. You know, sometimes it is much more. It feels much more better mm. not to understand the language. Why? Because even when they insult you, you don't know. And if you are a certain type of person that is too aggressive, mm -hmm. it's yeah. not so advisable to learn this language. Mm. Because you fight every day. Yeah. <laughs> Like there's this my brother. <laughs> He's a very stupid boy. <laughs> He's very very aggressive. Yeah. There was a time I had to go to the underground because he was fighting already. Hey. He understood the language and you know they were like just telling him some rubbish words, and he had to just throw his bag and was fighting. Ooh, they ended up in police, police station. station. Someone with anger issue cannot yeah, leave there. So I went land. there. I was you know when I got there, I just went there like. <laughs> They didn't know I speak the language, mm. so. so when I just got to the police station, I, I was like, "How are you? Do you speak English?" And like, yes, they were. Yes, we speak English language, literally, literally. Mm -hmm. And I said, "Okay, let me just switch to Azerbaijan mm. language." I, I just switched to. They said, "Oh, Gardash, Gardash." So you speak our language? I said, "Yeah, of course." You know, and immediately when I told them I speak the language, they immediately switched. Their expression, yeah. they listened to me perfectly. Okay. So those are the type of advantage of you knowing the language. Though wow. I think I'm talking too much. Now. <laughs> so thank you mm -hmm. for filming this segment with me. I really enjoy. I learned a lot. Of yeah. So so if you let me ask you this question, <laughs> if you had the chance to go back now, I will learn the language. Mm. I will hundred percent. Like I will have like develop that interest from the beginning mm -hmm. not develop one then drop i will have just go into it fully because i think i will have gone places wow for real but you see people out there learn mm -hmm. language wherever you are yeah learn the language it's simple i'm sorry you didn't learn the language <laughs> but anyway anytime but you have, you have <laughs> at, huh? yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm much more free if you have to any difficulty you can just invite me. I mm. charge very few money. Eh? In one hour I can take like one fifty dollars because I know you don't you. mean it. I mean it. My <laughs> <laughs> I mean it. Yeah. So one fifty dollar for one hour it's enough. Of, I'm telling you, I've gone to yeah, I like I traveled from Azerbaijan to Dubai. Wow. That guy he doesn't understand English language and he had to transact a business. Yeah. And I was like, no problem. You pay my ticket fee, fee, fee you book an hotel for me. Depending on the days we mm. are going, so I was like, okay, I charge one thousand dollars per day. Let me drink to that. Excluding my feeding, everything you have to take care of me, and we spent like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We came back on Monday, so that's a whooping three thousand wow. dollars. Wow, wow. Just wow. from the language. the language, how much? I didn't pay even a penny to learn the language. language. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's good. Cool.
Is it so? A lot of advantage. Thank you very much for inviting me. I think all oh, this. You don't eat too much. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Hope we we'll see you guys in the next video. And hope you're able to learn something from this little segment. Wherever you are, just make good use of it. Um, use it wisely. Don't be like me. I didn't learn the language. He's learn. doing very well. Learn. And even sometimes I call him for translation. <laughs> Translation. Free of charge. <laughs> free of charge. Le she should, yes, you people should know now. It's free of charge. Though. I don't charge her. But I think now from now I have to charge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> so thank you for watching. So see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Ciao.